Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we are back in Satisfactory again today. We're going to be picking up where we left off with the Wheeljack Factory and uh, hopefully expanding a little bit. I want to try and get some more stuff coming in. So I want to try to put a back on this, maybe start to think about how we're going to handle trains, uh, do a little bit more decorating. Uh, in between streams, I added a bunch of color swatches, all kind of like Transformers Gen 1 colors. So we should be able to move forward pretty quickly with a lot of that stuff. Uh, the one thing I think is going to be a hang up is lighting. I think that's going to be the, the trickiest thing to do that and trying to figure out how to handle that second floor. Uh, but uh, we have a, a number of people in the chat already today. You've got Loki hanging out, You've got Cosmic Dancer, Blast Jordan, Dan Grice is here and Sweet Sandy, happy puppy day. Uh, Sweet Sandy has a new puppy at home, eating a mouse cord. That's bad. Don't let them do that. They should eat puppy food. Even I know that. Ethan, hello, how's it going? Uh, Mind Trip Media with 100 bits kicking off the stream. Thanks so much. And Ethan, thanks for the follow. That's great. Welcome in. Obu is here, just lurking in the background, as per usual. How's everyone's Thursday going so far? I spent the morning trying to figure out how to get <clears throat> a command to play an audio clip in chat and I was unsuccessful I have the audio clip which I may be able to play for you now let me just see if I can get this to work um, media source don't know what that is I'd probably have to do the desktop audio oh you guys can't hear the desktop audio at all so now you can probably hear the factory. So if I go to my folder here, I can probably play this for you. I thought this might be useful for, for our mods. Let's see if this is going to be loud enough. Attention, your viewers cannot read minds or see around the image you currently have up on screen. Try that again. Attention, your viewers cannot read minds or see around the image you currently have up on screen. So I used Google to record a, a voice to text, um, but I can't get it linked. Um, I'm supposed to be using, uh, I'm supposed to be using Streamlabs chatbot. I am less and less happy with Streamlabs the more that I try to use it for stuff. So I may actually switch to stream elements. I feel like there's a number of other creators that have also switched to stream elements. Um, I could put it on a custom sticker, but the problem is that still costs bits and it doesn't restrict it to like, just like with the stream stickers, I wish there was a good way to um, say like, hey, these are only for mods and then make them free, right? But the whole idea between this with the stream stickers is to have them be a way to support the channel. Um, so I could put it on a sticker and have it be like um, really low, like one bit or two bits or something. Um, but then I feel like people might, I, well, it should be fine. In this community, you'd probably be fine. What I would like to do is have it be like mods and VIPs. And I think I could do that with stream audio or stream sounds as an extension um or i tried to look into that and the only moderation thing i could find was how to give moderators access to your stream but not uh your stream sounds but not access to like play them so with the stream labs chat bot apparently i had to download a separate program it's a separate program i'd have to have running in the background not just stream labels which is just annoying uh there are other ways, other bots that you can use to attach sounds to a command and just give mods via Pegasus, I'm sure. Okay, cool. Thanks, Cosmic. Yeah, if that's the case, then we can just um, we can just try to look into that in between streams, I guess. I did sort out a few new things, like my voice doesn't fade out when I switch scenes now, which is good. So I did my best with these color swatches to try and come up like with decent colors so hey there's a Joel Duggan bot roll out 
<laughs> nice. Uh, Cosmic with 200 bits for the uh, stream sticker. Thanks very much. I think that was you. The extension used 200 bits. Oh, no, it's not giving your name? Did I remove that from the... That should have told me that it was you, Cosmic. How do I find that again? To, like, log into the stream stickers dashboard or something? Stream stickers. That's the extension. How do I... How do I get to the settings for stream stickers? Alerts, settings, extensions. Here we go. My extensions. Under component one. Here's the dashboard. Okay, under chatbot. Nope, I want somewhere is it supposed to say who used the settings? Alerts. Chat alert. No, I have it it's supposed to say user. Did you do anything different, Cosmic? Because there's supposed to be a message in chat to say that you use the sticker. Oh no, it's I, it's good. I need to know this so that when things get busy later, um, I know who said it. It just said the extension used 200 bits on my Twitch activity feed. Yeah, the chat alert is still set to be user used a sticker. Thanks for the bits. That's what it's supposed to say. The extension is Cosmic's real name. <laughs> Possible. Possible. Anyway, uh, obviously it's getting dark right now. Um, the first thing I need to address is um, I don't like how tight this is, so I don't think we're going to be putting the ramp here. As cool as it looks here, I feel like I need to move it back a bit. That or I need to remove this box so we can go around the corner. The problem, of course, is that this box ends on a nice even foundation so i'd have to go back half a foundation which would be tricky not quite half that's one issue the other tricky part is on the outside, I guess. And that's how to handle everything up here and the back. I think I'm going to leave this space open for conveyor lifts. So we'll leave that there. So this, uh oh. So this side is pretty boring. I added this little chunk in here and I like it, but I think I need to add it on the other side too. I feel like it looks a little bit funny. I'm wondering if this is gonna be worth adding in here.
It looks a little bit funny because then this looks off center. I may have to move all this down, which is annoying. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I feel like that should be on the middle two. And that's not really that hard to move. I just um, would have to move. Actually, maybe I won't move. Is this bigger? One, two, two, no. Let me just move it down, I guess. That's probably the nice thing. A lot of this stuff is just simple adjustments. The kind of things that I feel like happen to me a lot in Satisfactory is on the fly changes as you make different decisions. Thankfully, these pieces should be pretty easy to move. was needed. So that feels a little bit better. And we could even have some of that same um, detail work in here, right? So I've got one, two, three. That's a fluke. Do we like that up there? This might be a little bit much. There needs to be something in that white space. grab onto this one? Probably can't. I think it's just this back a bit. Pretty good. I'm not crazy about the flat section at the top. I guess we can see up underneath there, can't we? So here, you just have to add one more. Oh, is that going to show through? Uh, I guess the thing to do there would be... this oh my gosh the flashiness of this game at night I just want to 
send it down. That works. That helps break things up a little bit. Not crazy about the bow tie look, but I don't know of another way to do that. A vertical bar, vertical black bar on the flat portion on top would match the top of the glass. Vertical bar. You mean up here? Or do you mean like here? That could be doable. Like send it down this way. I do wish we had um, <clears throat> other textures for this. I think I tried to switch it to um, concrete. It's a smoother texture, but we can't change the color of that. Not to anything meaningful. Like I can't get it to go super, oh. Well, it goes gray, but it doesn't go super white. Like I can't get it to go that really bright white. Like it just goes to here. Unlike the concrete, where if I do this, it goes like super white, right? I don't think there's anything glass that I could do. And all the glass roofs would be facing the wrong way. I can't. I could tip them that direction. Never thought about that. That's kind of cool. I think I like that better. Really fun when the sun passes through it. This feels a little bit flimsy. Also, it feels strange now that I got this kind of off. I feel like I should probably move this back. I don't even know if I need that. Yeah. So, how do we... I guess I keep that where it is and move this part. And then don't have this cutaway bit. I'll just move this down. I guess we could like two sections. Oh, 
Oh, whoops. Colors. So here's all my new colors. So I went with um, the colors I see in a lot of Transformers. Kept all my grays. I've got a couple. I've got one down here. I've still got loose to be whatever I want. But I've got the blue, blue and yellow, green and yellow, dark green, like forest green. Then the bright lime green for Wheeljack. Yellow and orange, orange and gray, maroon, purple. Did a brown. Don't not married to it. And I did a beige. And I feel like, I mean, this is just kind of like a random teal. But between that and the the main colors, I feel like we've got everything pretty much covered. Uh, now here. I'd want to go down, I think. Almost want to do that over here too. Let's see, I like that. These will have to stay, but that's fine. We need to do something with this for detail, and I really need to think about how we're going to handle this part. I think ramps look better. They look more Cybertronian, so we're going to switch to ramps. the ramps from the side. Maybe we want to go with asphalt. One missing pink. Uh, oh, you're right. You're right, there is one missing. So I should change this one to the, be the pink one. Probably pink and white. The weird pink. Go with something more RC colored. We'll probably use this for like whatever quartz factory we decide to do. They should all be pink. <laughs> this guy's getting pretty close. I don't know if he goes through it, but he gets really close to it. I'm pretty happy with that. This, not so much. I feel like this needs some TLC. And that has stuff attached to it. This just feels kind of thin to me. How did I do the front? Is the front white? The front is white. Um, hey Joel, my mouse is giving up the ghosts in new and exciting ways each day. Got any recommendations on a new one? Um, I'm a fan of the side buttons. That helps. Yeah, absolutely. Actually, I have been using... I don't like the software that comes with it. It's unfortunately a bit of a hog, but I like Razer Mice. This is a Razer Death Adder version 2. 20k digital optical mouse. Looks like that. 
and it'll go through different colors. Um, I would like it to stay one color, but that revol means leaving the software running, which I don't want to do. Uh, it's got thumb buttons on the side, and it's got two finger buttons on the top. Plus the scroll wheel is a button and also uh, obviously the scroll wheel. The scroll wheel does not go laterally, but it is clickable. And then um, you've got the two buttons below it. So there's four buttons plus the three mouse buttons. And I really like it. The thumb buttons are really accessible. I use them a lot for like, just like assigning them to like the browser back button. Uh, they're also pretty affordable. I want to say it's under $100 Canadian. You can get them with more buttons. There's other razor buttons out there. Okay, I think that's pretty good for now. I need to sort out what's happening with this corner. Not a huge fan. So I want to, I think, get rid of this. Is that unpainted or chrome? That's chrome. Carbon seal? Okay. So this is where the power comes in temporarily. We could bring the power in underneath this. Right in there. It's very close to everything. Seems like it's probably a good idea. Uh, these aren't connected. this to get connected. I find your lack of pink disturbing. <laughs> well played, Cosmic. Was that random or did you place it down there? And I think um, I only guessed that that was Cosmic because I can't tell. It just said the extension used 200 bits. Random placement. I think we need to maybe reduce the duration. He seems to kind of stick up there a really long time. Well, uh, there's going to be a lot of troubleshooting, I think, with these stickers to get them right. Okay, let's go maybe to like 20 seconds. Uh, I don't know what's going on and why it's not giving people credit. Uh, I didn't change anything for that, which is really annoying. I mean, I changed what it said. Like, I changed the alerts, chat alert. It's enabled, and it says, hashtag user used a sticker. Sticker. Thanks for the hashtag bits. Um, user equals viewer name. So I don't know why... It's not working. There's no, and there's no, there's no indication in chat at all, right? Like I'm not seeing any messages. So the, the stream bot thing is not working. I wonder if I need to like, stream stickers is already a moderator. So it should be working. Let me just turn that off and then turn it back on again. And 
under extensions, is there anything that I can do to like reconnect? Nope. No, no, I, they're great too. Um, I like them too, especially because we can control which ones are used. Like I like that aspect of the extension. If anybody wants, um, it's just um, streamstickers.com, I think. And there's there's like 500 stickers. Um, I've only got a handful currently um, enabled, but I can enable more if there's one particular that people think is awesome. There's only about 50 or so of the auto-generated ones. Like the, the text-to-speech ones. New text-to-speech settings. Maybe those are different. Loki, Loki, subscribing with tier one. Thanks so much. That's amazing, Loki. Welcome in. You can now connect your Discord and your Twitch and join us in the Joel Duggan Discord. Uh, what was it that Loki said? Can we get Enzo saying alphanumeric just for a Canadian touch? Uh, is there an Enzo sticker? I don't think so. Not that I saw. Oh, you know what? I didn't enable, you know what it is, Cosmic? I have sticker enabled, but not chat alerts. Yeah, so this should fix it. I'm sorry, I missed a setting. Or something bits. Message. Yes, okay, that should work now on the TTS stickers. I had it enabled for the global stickers. It's There's a lot of settings in this extension but I appreciate everyone's patience as we kind of work through what's up. It's also one of these things where like, it's really good that there's no like save button. It should save the settings automatically, but it's really strange on a Windows app to not have like three different boxes saying, click yes to confirm, please confirm your confirmation and please finally exit and confirm. Like it just, it's strange. Uh, we're gonna have to leave the power there for now, I think. So we'll just change this over to a double. up a little bit better. Everything powered still? Yes. Do I want to go with the smaller sign, maybe? Yep, that worked. Although it just said that the extension used 100 bits. 
And that should have been 200 bits. I guess I should switch to... Yeah, unfortunately on the TTS stickers, you can't just view the ones you have enabled. You have to scroll through all of them. And they don't have them in alphabetical order, which is annoying. The chat message worked, yeah, but the Twitch activity feed message was wrong. So I guess I just have to try to make sure I follow them in chat, which is fine, I guess. Got 10 seconds left on a hype train if anybody wants to do a tier one or a 100 bits or something like that. But yeah, so for, for me, in the activity feed, does anybody know if there's a way to like refresh your activity feed? In Twitch. Pop out, edit layouts, duplicate. There's nothing in the stream stickers that say anything about the activity feed. So that right now is our main power input, and that's fine. Uh, how do I want to have this be larger? I feel like this footprint could be bigger. good so maybe we need to move the power thing down a little bit sign. I don't understand why these things get placed upside down. It's really frustrating.
Now, did that stop anything? No, that's still connected down this way. Yes, okay. All right, so for now, that's the main power coming in. We'll have to sort that out later. But I think that gets a good part of the form on this side sorted out. This still bugs me. I'm wondering if there's a way that I could angle that down. I wanted that to go down that way. If I remove this and use a beam, I do edge to edge. And then I do that there. And that there. And then I do edge to edge on that one. Let's see if I can remember how to do this. Did I go the wrong way? That's going to line up with the right edge. So I want the other direction. I need to remove this one. That will give me the right angle. Don't know where to start it. And then the other direction. Right. Okay. If I delete this, put this in the bottom. to lead to the beam inside. But that works. Okay, and then can I change the shape of this at all? That's necessary. Maybe we'll just go and maybe that was straight across. What if we just did like an angle down here? No, it looks better with a square on it, doesn't it? It needs something, and this is where I, I like using um, splitters. One, two, three, four, five, six. So if I grab one of these. I think splitters are like three meters tall or four meters tall. Or I guess mergers. I think splitters have got the, or mergers have got the cool colors. I mean, smart splitters really have all the cool bits. Now 
Now, is that showing through inside anywhere? Yes. <laughs> Unfortunately, it is. Okay, so that might not be what we want. No. Okay, that's not going to work. If you have a thick enough piece, then you can kind of embed them and they look kind of like really cool um, lights, but I'm not sure what we could add there. I feel like it does need something. Oh, you know what we could do? We could add maybe um, just some, some angled supports. Because this is just that. What if we did... Hmm. It gets a little bit... It's a little bit busy. I don't know. I'll, I'll let that be for now. Starter house? Yeah. A little bit more than that, but yeah. Functionally, sure. So it is just white with pillars. Also, I'm realizing that our white is not quite where I'd want it to be. Kind of thinking like, I might want this to be more like a six. See how it gets rid of that, um, that little smudge, and that'll change the next time we load in. Let's so thick with white. Yeah, I think for what I've got here, I think these angles are wrong. don't want that. There's no real way to do that angle upside down. Oh, I could use, that's a 45, or a four meter rather. If I use the larger ramp, maybe. to start so this has to be the middle foundation there I was 
Stream time is in an hour. Thanks, Cosmic. I'll wait for the sun to go down. I appreciate the heads up. if there's a way to do this outside of using concrete pillars maybe that would make this easier white can and how tall do I want this two looks good So that's not on the right measurement. I really wish these came in like half heights. That would make life so much easier, I think, for so many people. Those are the kind of quality of life things they could release down the line for the game. So wait a minute, if I wanted to do this, actually, I probably had it at the correct height. Plans past 1.0 at the moment. The only thing they said on the stream the other day, the the spill stream, there was a lot of other coffee stain stuff. They said that they're focusing on uh, Fixmas, so the Fixmas holiday event. Um, it will not be a last minute rush this year. They're actually trying to plan several months out, so it'll be more of a of a thing. So we'll probably swing back around and get more Minecraft going on stream in November, and then in December I'll come back and do more fix Fixmas stuff with Satisfactory. Um, the the other thing that they said was that they are working on straight mode for pipes so the same straight mode that you can use for for this they're working on straight modes for pipes but absolutely no idea when that's going to come they said that if anything it, the, the only free update would be coming outside of fixmas would be like early 2025 so it's like probably six months away i hope they release more bug fixes like i hope them to release more patches so not game content but i hope them to release like menu fixes and rendering fixes and all that kind of stuff and i think that that's something they're actively doing um this is just going to be a pain let me just see if this is even going to work
guess I'm going the other way with this. Well, it worked. Except for I can't click that one. There we go. Doesn't look the best though, does it? Kind of rounded. It's not exactly what I wanted. I've got a better idea for this actually. Well, it was easy enough, so we'll repeat the process over here. Yeah, straight modes for pipes is definitely, definitely a good thing. I'm getting used to how to do this, at least. New skill required. Or acquired, rather. And then for the back, we could probably just use these. I don't think that would encroach too much. up that problem too. Hmm. Maybe I put that in the wrong spot. This, I think, is going to get sealed up in a different way. That's fine. Yeah, I don't know. I may have to rethink this door. 
is not the best. a lot of overlapping happening and it feels very strange here without any other supports happening so I kind of want to do something very similar on this side here try and maybe support that but then again that's gonna look strange so this might have to go straight up to the roof might not look might not work the best. I might want to take that all the way up and then do something similar on this side. Don't think that will encroach. That might. Darn close. Yikes. Hold that one real tight. needs guardrails. See, that's going to be at a different angle too. It's kind of cool when you start to see like the patterns in the design coming through. And then maybe if we attach this here somehow. I mean, this little thing was very flimsy. So I'd be happy to have this look a lot thicker. Not quite, but we'll get there. Take a look at the stickers that are available. I Is there a website that we can point people towards? For that? Yeah, I feel like this whole thing just needs to be thicker. I would prefer... I guess we could go up. Don't know what level this is on. I feel like I chose this level for a reason because it was on fours, I want to say. I don't remember. Oh, there's the sun.
Uh, it is not on four. Where is it? No, it's not. That's not good. I think that's the right height that I want. One of these goes up by two. Yeah, this is the main main level I was working from. It's up by two, down by two. Yeah, so this. I should probably have that on a better floor. Although right now inside, it works very well with our ramps. Uh, I mean, I guess if I lowered it, we could start them back farther. So there's that too. There's that too. Uh, but I don't think I want to lower it. I think I want to probably raise it by a bit. I was working on some colors here. Yeah. It is on fours, but it's on fours even though we're up by two meters. That's what it is. Um, if I raised it up to here. That would cut out this shape. We'd lose a lot of space there. If I dropped it by one meter, I don't think that would be the end of the world. We're down here. Which is essentially what I'm doing here. Okay, time for break. I want to stick to those. So Cosmic says I need to get back to my save at some point. Just about to start steel production. Oh, very cool. Yeah, the game definitely expands after steel because you get faster belts. I usually take a break once an hour, folks. It is that time. My coffee is broken and needs fixing. Uh, you should grab a stretch, grab a friend. We're trying to grow the channel. So uh, tell folks uh, at Joel Duggan on Twitter and Joel Duggan on Instagram. And I will be right back.
All right, still in the dark. Um, I feel like I've got a decent amount of design sorted, so I think we'll we'll bring the floor down so that it works with. Um, I guess I wanted the top of it to be even with the there. That's the only problem. Basically, I'm thinking about going from here to a train station, and I need to, like, sort out how I'm going to do that. Zero, hello. How's it going? Okay. Hmm, 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 hmm. Yeah, so that won't affect this at all, which sucks. I just, I find this too close. I mean, sure, I can move these b bins, but I don't like this little space. I could have this go in a different direction. It just feels so natural to be, like, running along here and then go up. Should we need to go up? But, at the same time, I'm wondering if we could do something else. See, that lines up. At least for now, we know that we're switching this over to a 2 meter. See, and we can do stuff like that here. Sort of helps too. Yeah, I don't know. You got your satisfactory to crash with Devastator. Not while playing, but while I exit from the game to the desktop. Yeah, that happens to me too sometimes. That happened to me the last time, actually. I showed Devastator off in the last stream. And when I closed the program, it crashed. So we know it's not unique to my machine, so that's good. I really appreciate all the help that you've been throughout the testing process. Why is that? Oh, because it's not red. So I like the look of this. I just don't know if this makes sense. I feel like we may have to have another way up somehow. Although from here would make the most sense. I'm just wondering if we have to do it around, around the back and have it come down a different way. The other option was to do like a, an angled catwalk. You know, that's not terrible. That's not bad. And that kind of eliminates the problem.
problem. Yeah, that's pretty good, actually. This is what I was talking about when I was thinking about, like, you have to think about how it functions as well as how it looks. So then the question is... Why? Oh, because this is going to be off. So this is going to line up. So I guess we really do have to keep this where it is. And maybe we just have to make sure that our train station is on one of these levels. We'll have to have some sort of like ramp. Maybe this will go up to a thing. But we I raised this by two meters. And that gets us up to there. So maybe that's what we need to do. Once we're up here, maybe there's just another level that has to happen. We do have stairs. Even though they're not super long stairs, we do have stairs. Mm -mm -mm. So this is not going to go up in that specific section then. I would say this is probably going to... I guess we could... That makes sense there. So this is going to have to go to the side. Probably there. Mm -mm. I'm going to put a belt on the back of it first, I guess. And that makes sense uh, that we might have... that and then potentially a recessed door I don't think I need this anymore don't remember what color it is I think it's carbon steel So you can't control or replace those. That's interesting. So we could do the same sort of like um, support underneath it. And we see it elsewhere. I think that's cool. Slowly come together. I think it's going to be more of a work in progress throughout the, the needs of the playthrough. So here, it's too bad this doesn't go to the middle. I guess we could just start that a half back. Because then I could do like a middle door. Right? And then we could back that up if we wanted to. Yeah, the, there's the weird way that you don't escape from menus. I know I keep on mentioning it, but it's really counterintuitive.
was just a little bit farther around the corner. Probably easier. Yeah. Might make that red. And then even though we don't have half walls, we could probably use concrete pillars. show through I might put those the other direction and then we're up here and we can do whatever we want with this make it out of the way yeah it would be cool if those were like exposed underneath like we had the ones out front and that would take care of this boring space too we could have those go along there I may just have to move this wall a little bit by one. That's starting to feel like more of a thought. Uh, now this, I would imagine the easiest thing to do is just going to be to add more of them. Maybe red? Oh, that's too bad. Maybe. I'll work on it. Yeah, it starts to feel like a actual floor. We also need to change the colors of some of this stuff. Okay, so I feel like that's a good idea for this. So we'll remove this one too. And might as well just carry this along. So now I gotta figure out what we're gonna put up here. I feel like this is not gonna work, it's too close. So this I think has to be even farther out. And I feel like this space up here, especially this area here, would more than likely be for um, 
the equipment workshop, maybe the awesome shop. Foundations. I'm just going to mess around with this for fun. So this could immediately get higher. I guess it doesn't have to be even that height to start with. We could also have that go... Oh no, that has to kind of go in at that level. That's fine. It is a little bit busy. You're looking at it here. You might want to make that look nicer. We could also have it go lower and have it go up through a floor hole instead. But at least for now, I'll just want it to get higher. Oh, those are all the wrong, wrong kind of thing. Just so we don't have to jump over it. Bali, hello, hello. Good to see you. More coffee is required. Man, I drank a lot of coffee yesterday, but I had a killer leg workout, and I slept like a rock last night. I didn't wake up at all. Alright, so where do we start this? Uh, one, two, three, four. should be one, two, three, and then in the middle of the fourth. And we've got one, two, three, and the middle of the fourth. Perfect. Cool. So I'll leave that like that for now. Maybe we'll just extend the wall. We don't have to have these triangle pieces in. The, the roof is like four meters thick. So we should be good. But that at least fills in the space, and gives me something to work with. Wolf Rain 90, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. Several new follows today. I really appreciate it. Glad you guys are enjoying the stream. Okay, so that's that space. And I think when we get up here, this would be a good spot for things like an equipment workshop. 
Let's make this a little bit better. What are you on? So I feel like we could at least temporarily put in this. We can use this space a little bit better and decorate it better. But I wanted to get rid of that stuff because that was all over here. I need to repurpose it so I can probably get rid of some of that now too. And the awesome shop is currently living right here. I feel like putting that next to the tickets is probably a better idea. I don't have room here. Okay. This feels a lot more like a usable space now. Yeah, for the awesome shop for now, let's just put it here. Uh, I don't know what I have for tickets. Got six. Plus whatever has been slowly. Oh my gosh, we got 12. That's the most tickets we've had in a while. I think I added some stuff to my cart. Still here? No, it's not. Organization. We're fine. Management. One ticket for pipelines. Maybe we'll do that. We don't really need the clean mark twos just yet, so that's like low priority. Don't need anything there. I wouldn't mind having the copper paint. think I need the roofs. We haven't done any of the, the detail work either. We do still need the foundations. I think those might be the ones we get. And oh gosh, the windowed. The single window with the frame on it I'm definitely looking at. Um, but that's a lot for just one piece. These are okay, but they don't really fit the Transformer theme. Hey, that's 12. Hey, that's 12. Anything else sticks priority? I guess it's between... Do I want to go copper finish? Or do I want to go with like material roof for three? I think we just go with that. Sweet. Fix it is not responsible for personal damage, environmental damage, psychological damage, or lowered standards that may result from use of these products. Enjoy your purchase. Okay. I guess the next thing is to try to figure out what the back of this is going to look like. Oh, right. I changed the swatch. <laughs> so this whole thing is blue now instead of green. I should probably change that to like the green with the yellow highlight is a really fun color. It reminds me of Hound, the Jeep Transformer. I like the yellow highlight. It's very, very kid's toy. Very like, I'm sure I had a tractor or something that had like the caution yellow. It's cool on the refineries too, like 
the, if you make the highlight really bright, it really stands out. Same with the uh, packager. Do I have any stuff that I could be getting rid of here? No. So we don't have a lot of color happening on the outside of this as of yet. I'm wondering if I should make these red. Not that I use the ramps anyway. And I think I like this better as asphalt. That can save grip metal. So I guess I need to now think about how we're going to get some of these things up here going in an organized way. Because this could also be a good spot for all of that stuff over there that we just added. I'm noticing that my forges are glowing. I'm wondering if my um, smelters are glowing too. can move these up into the storage ceiling. We haven't I just realized we have an attic where I can put all my junk. So this is still getting overflow. That's a, that's surprising. Get some power back anyway. Anybody else find it dark right here? Like I just I find it such a hard. Even in the daylight, sometimes this game is really quite dark. Now, this is going to have to go higher, I think. But for now, we'll leave it. Uh, I do not need this giant mess of stuff over here. And these things I got to move. So we could make this a lot simpler. Uh, this still needs power, so you're going to stay. You can go. And then you can connect all the way to at least here. And everybody in between can go. And this zigzags around for no good reason, so this can go straight to you. I think there used to be a bunch of machines here. And that's fine. So it's this stuff. Don't have the room for that. Second trip, I guess. I have to say it is nice to have everything paved because it's a, it makes running around super easy. Axionim, hello, how's it going? Hope you're having a good day. So I do have some bins set up here. I can put um, some of this temporary stuff like that and that and that and that. Uh, Biomass, bio stuff. I need some of those. I feel like I need the 80 just in case we ever need to make the hub again. So 
That's that done. Still haven't decided what I'm going to do with this idea of paving countryside. Maybe we'll just do it to connect the buildings. I like the idea of making this some sort of like little pavilion of nature, but I do want to cover that rock up, I think. And we need to find a better place for this. This needs to have more of a prominent um, location. I wonder if we could use a ramp up here. I don't know whether that would look very good. I guess that kind of defeats the purpose. I gotta remember there's one here. Uh, that's organic stuff. Maybe we'll put that over here. Cool. So now I just need to move those big containers. So I'll put those up here temporarily. The fact that you can fly for so long with this biofuel is awesome. So these we're going to need eventually. I should make this a very bright color. And maybe put a giant sign on it so I will always remember what is in here. Maybe not that big. We need darker, darker lettering. I wish the images didn't get so blown out. I wish that these wouldn't be so bright. Just do, I guess we'll go. Yeah. Well, that I think is the, um, the starting area completely moved. That's everything over there completely gone. 
This just feels a little bit strange. Oh, is that because it has to go up? Yeah, so starting here, I guess, needs to go higher. It's a really interesting challenge to attempt to maybe pave over a biome. Easier in a larger, flatter biome. Maybe not larger, but certainly, um, certainly, um, flatter. While we're here, we might as well get some of the, um, uh, reanimated sand. Whatever we have in the inventory, I'll just put that back in the storage containers. Like I can best I I can fly the whole way back after that jump. Isn't that wild? I'm also noticing Oh, not if I go in the inventory, I guess. Mental note. So I really want to put a train station here, but I need to find the right height, whatever that's going to be. I feel like I'm kind of standing on it, so it's not that. I think it's going to be a lot higher. Not that the train tracks couldn't go higher. I love that you can hear him go by. Very cool. Big head face, good morning, hello. Or good afternoon for me. I've only really started getting into buildy builds for factories. There's a lot you can do. There is a lot you can do, Axiom. There's a ton. Yeah, you can get into the nitty gritty. In one way, it's good because it means that if something is slowly building up for you in the background, then you can have a lot to entertain yourself and to occupy your time until the stuff that you are um, the stuff that you are working on is ready right so I guess this is the next nonsense we need to figure out so I'm gonna make uh, what are the things that are on the list AI limiters we can't make those here because those are Copper and Caterium, those are going to be made outside in a different factory. Circuit boards are plastic and copper. Quartz crystal we don't have coming in here, but we could sort that out. That's manual right now. Plastic and rubber elsewhere. Crystal oscillators are something I think we can actually make here. We just have to supply it. First I have to figure out how to spell crystal. So we have two of those things here. And we do the manual for that. And then heavy modular frame. I could actually do that here. But I feel like that machine would have to be down that end. Because screws and modular frames are all being made down here. Essentially all I would do is I would pull stuff off the sushi line like there's pipes somewhere there's heavy modular frames they come through somewhere where do they go I think they go on the top saw them modular frames modular frames those are being made here overflow connects over here 
Not very many of them. And they go on the bottom. So they're on the slow chunky belt. There, there, there. Yeah. So we could pull some of that along here. And then have stuff go into the building here. If I turn that guy around, then we could potentially do heavy modular frames here. Um, so we would probably find a position. Oh, I forgot I had those in my inventory. Let's take that stuff out. So if I was to put this in here and I would need four ports or two of those here, I would probably want to go for these two middle ones. And then we would use our walls. And then I would just line the manufacturer up with that. And really that's all we'd have to do. We wouldn't have to be any closer or farther away than that. It saves us some space that's lined up. Looks pretty cool. It's not too close. The edge. It just touches the ceiling. The tricky part is going to be getting the screws down in this guy. The only thing. And we don't have the hard drive, I don't think, for the alternate recipe. Oh, scroll wheel is being not nice. That's annoying. Uh, there seems to be a different bug with the UI every time I play this game. Computers, crystal computers. Oh, we have this. Alternate heavy oil residue. Water and crude oil. That's a really good one to have. We should probably get that one. I'm going to look it up on the wiki first. Steam sheets is also good. That could be cool when we go to do more quartz. That still involves screws. Heavy fixable frame. Oh, it involves rubber. No. That's the one I thought I saw. We do have alternate screws. Oh, now the scroll wheel is working. Cheap silica. All right. So it's not the one that I wanted. But heavy oil residue, I'm pretty sure that's a big one that we want. Uh, 
heavy oil residue, crude oil, refinery, heavy oil residue, polymer resin. Yeah, it doesn't even need water. This makes heavy oil residue, and polymer resin. This is what we're using in the Megatron facility. And this is just switch. Yeah, so you can make heavy oil residue without the plastic and the rubber if you want to. And you can make specifically a lot of it. Yep, we're going to take that. Are there any that I can re roll? Out of curiosity? One rescan. Ah, uh, the wet concrete is a good one, so I can't rescan that. Um, that removes plastic from those. Pure Caterium is good, although we could probably get that later. That is what I'm not interested in. Polymer resin, coated iron plate. Those are both garbage. Page up, page down works better than scroll. Oh, you're right. Don't think I care about that either. Those are terrible. Uh, Coke steel ingot. You know, don't care about that. Molded steel pipe. Diluted package fuel. That's actually a good one to hang on to. Sure. Both of these are crap. I guess if we hold on to the crap ones, then we know we're not going to get them if we rescan another hard drive. Uh, I am curious about that since there is more coal on the map. The steamed copper sheets are great, but we don't need them right now. Hey, there's the one that I want. We're still in that. So we are making all of those here. And now we don't have to worry about screws at all other than just our inventory. Well, that was worth a little juggling because now I can just grab this guy and say, you're going to make an alternative. Modular frames, encased industrial beams, steel pipes, and concrete. So concrete and encased industrial beams are coming down this line right now so we'd have to pull those off and feed them into another line then we'd have to pull pipes and modular frames off of that the pipes and modular frames off of that is going to be the easiest thing and that's going to happen on the far uh, right, I guess. By the way, best decision I ever made was leaving some of this stuff open, um, both visually and for my own access. It's a lot easier. Where does that come up? That comes up inside. So the porthole is right on the edge of the beams. So we'll do that along here. So this is going to be pipes and modular frames, right? Yes. Nighttime approaches. Time to think about rolling out for your break. 
That was awesome. Oh, that was awesome. Uh, well played. Uh, it said the extension used 200 bits, but then the chat... It is Cosmic Dancer. Thanks very much, Cosmic, for the 200 bits and the reminder for the break. I really appreciate it. That was really fun. Although I want to find a way for mods to be able to do that without using bits. I mean, I appreciate the bits, but I feel like it's kind of a weird thing to have bits be required. There's the portholes there. So we can just do... I think this is what I did. So then this should be pretty straightforward. It's gonna be a little bit messy here. This should be a smart splitter. Mm, I don't know if that's gonna work with that merger. I may have to take these things and redirect them. We may have to get a little bit um, fancy with this. I think we might need another lane here and have another merger farther down. Okay, break time. Let's get out of this nonsense. Cool. Once again, folks, time for a break. I really appreciate the reminder, Cosmic. And I'll be back in five or seven minutes.
back at it. And I think we are going to have to reorganize a few things. But I think it should be doable. It'll just be unfortunately tight. Only problem. I think it's all down here, too. Yeah. So I need pipes and modular frames. So I need to move these guys over to here. So I think what needs to happen is we need to have another lane here. So I'll need another merger here. Not there. This is the problem with such a small space. And I tried to give myself lots of room too. So the trick is going to be to get a lane that's far enough away from this that we can actually go down to it. So we'll have to do uh, one, two, three, four. Looks like it might work. And then I should be able to get that from here. To there. And then this merger, which is just taking in whatever that is. Don't know what that is. Plates. Uh, we can actually just move this merger that location so it'll be a little bit tricky that I think is maybe the only option I don't know I don't think I could push it any farther if I put another merger here I don't think that'll connect I don't think I can move this belt no to there <laughs> wow interesting choice uh, I could try the wall mounts that might work we could also go underground Oh my gosh, that works. All right, so that means that the motors and the plates are being merged and then also merged with the main line again, and that's fine. And so that means that we can remove this and this and this. And also this. Excellent. So now I can do two smart splitters along here. Why are you snapping to that? And I guess it doesn't matter what we do first. Um, I guess I should figure out which is the higher volume. We'll do steel pipes first. 
so right pipe center overflow left none and then right modular frame overflow and then the other ones this is going to be trickier we're going to have to figure out how to get concrete and what was the other thing encased industrial beams I'm gonna have to bring those back this way I think what I'll do here oh I, I so this is where we want a programmable splitter a programmable splitter would be perfect here probably have to do to hmm. I might just have to take this belt this whole belt and just run it back I might have to run it all the way back and merge it here that would probably be the easiest thing is to just run that whole thing back although it's going to run into some stuff here um, yeah, no matter what, it's going to run into that. I mean, not that it's going to, it'll still function. It just won't look very good. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I could use... The other side, maybe? We could just run it back on top of this stuff. So that could go all the way back to here easily. add a merger here really wish that these things would snap with other belts and did I choose the right spot I think I did I think that's nice and straight yep this is actually coming together a lot faster and easier than I thought I did not think this was going to be a thing so we'll just oh. don't need that in the way and I don't need this in the way so that's now taking encased industrial beams and concrete plates and rods and shoot them all the way down here merging them in with this so we may have to increase this belt speed um, this is probably going to have to be a beast. Uh, and then we can hook up these again with more smart splitters. To do this down here now. Oh, that's not right. That is, this is not. Let's 
So this is modular frames. Uh, I don't know what we're making more of. Modular frames. What are the other two things? Concrete and encased industrial beams. So I need to figure out which I'm making more excess of. Encased industrial beams, I think I'm only making like a handful more. So we're making four per minute and they're not being used in anything as far as I know. And this is gonna use nine per minute. I think these are all just being um, moved along, yeah. And then concrete, we're making 15, we're making 60 concrete per minute. But we are using 40. So we've got 20 concrete per minute just gonna scrolling on by. So we'll use, I think we'll do concrete first. Because concrete is more than, yeah. So we'll do concrete first. One, two, three, four. Concrete. Case industrial beam and overflow. And I just realized that my lovely little belt here is in the way. Crap. How do I get motors? Wait a minute. Maybe I merge them before they leave the factory? There's no way in for the other issues. Motors are coming out here. Uh, that's a very tight turn. I don't know that I could actually make that. But I could merge them there. I could use a lift and merge them that way. Or I could merge them underground. Probably going to merge them underground. Oh, yep, that's going to be the easier way to do it. I think I'll probably just do them here. Feels a little cheaty. I was hoping to get it all done. Oh, 
not gonna work. That's weird. Normally they connect. Oh, I had it facing the wrong way, didn't I? So that'll get the motors back up there. That means I can eliminate this and put these down. So that should mean motors are coming back over there. Good. And that should leave me clear here to do things I need, uh, which are going to be I think everything is under under 60. Yeah. Last one's going to be a little tight. That's actually just a placeholder. Gets everything up to here, and then how did we do it over here? That is actually just on the wall, and that worked out quite nicely. This is cool. Gives some motion to this level, which is great. Bali subscribed to tier one three months in advance. Thanks so much, Bali. That's amazing. I really appreciate the support. Very, very kind of you. Rock Giant, thanks for the lurk. Good to see you. Sorry, I've been completely missing stuff in chat. So that'll make this cool looking. Uh, and then how did I handle it in here? This just looks like it's attached to the ceiling and then I went right down to the floor with it. all up here and I'm just gonna go straight into the machine I'm gonna get the machine powered temporarily Send you into a little bin. I don't know where the bin's gonna be, but it'll live around the corner for now. I hope. I'm 
that's just going to slowly build up. We may notice that we're not going to get encased industrial beams. I may have to turn down the um, production of uh, frames. We should still be getting rods and plates coming along here, though. Yes. Okay. So the question now is, do I have a belt that's fast enough through here? There's in case industrial beams. So we were making four per minute extra, or just not extra. This is taking four per minute. So if I dial this back down to like one, that's 3.33. I do two, that's six. So let's do one. Oops. So that'll change that may that way we'll always have like a little bit extra although this is filling up faster than it's actually producing even at nine per minute that's odd that shouldn't be case unless i was not producing enough 7.5 no i'm not sure why we shouldn't be building up i'm not building enough of these I'm not making nine and a half per minute. Oh, I'm making eight. So if I dial this back to... Like to use seven. But that should work. Five modular frames per minute. I don't know if we're using... I'm only making four. And they are not being used in anything, so that seems to be the smallest amount. Yeah, so that needs to be lower. Let's just go with one. It'll be slow, but it'll go in the background. And we've already got three. That's fine. Now we've got this cool thing happening in here. And I do that over here. There's like the red highlight on the lifts. I want to get rid of.
I mean, we should be able to just put this on here. Where did that attach? I had to go lower. Ooh, how did I do that? Maybe I put it out here first? I probably used these walls. I don't know how I got that to be lower on the other side. Anybody remember? Maybe a foundation? put that on this height that's how I did it okay Or at least that's one way to do it. At least it's easy. That gives us a nice visual cool thing happening over there. It's not the same as that one, but it's got some function. And then this thing, uh, heavy modular frames, black and a light gray. Let's do I guess we'll just do a black machine. I have a sign? I feel like I can put a sign on this. Usually there's a spot. Oh, it's on the front. Okay. We shall do it this way. Really? You're not letting me snap to the... Oh, it's snapping to the front of the machine. That's annoying. Uh... Oh, wow. 
That's unfortunate. Uh, I don't want to delete the machine. Gurarg. I did not think that that would be a problem. Well, those are staying there for now. Color. Oh, I can't get the color in there either. All right. Well, temporarily, that's at least set up. So we now have those automatically being made. Not in great quantity, but certainly being made. And I've been meaning to do this. I've been meaning to look up like what these are actually going to be used in building. There's like, I think they're big in trains. So we need them for that stuff, but that's going to be for other production things. Oh, they're used in blenders. They're used to make the blueprint designer. Drone, nuclear power plant. Pumps. We need them for pumps. Programmable splitter. Radar tower. Okay, so they're not really used in a lot. I thought they were using a lot more. So I'm glad that we're not producing a ton of them. Um, we'll probably have to do it a second time at quantity to do the adaptive control unit. Okay, so that's that done. Uh, we now need, do we need more silica or more quartz crystal? We are about even on both. Let's do a little bit more silica, I guess. And then this was making heavy module frames. We don't need that anymore. Which removes all of this. Where am I keeping the quartz? Oh, there's the quartz. Oh, it's because because my swatch has changed color. That's what's going on. Rubber. So that's good to do its own thing. This is more of those. So now we have all this space to do something cool or at least set up some temporary things. So this is where I could probably do, I could do temporary computers and I could do temporary, um, 
circuit boards. And that's why I wanted to have this at this end, because if we do the same thing with another manufacturer, uh, and if we, that's good to know, you line up the middle of the manufacturer on the line, and then the outputs line up with um, inputs. So if I don't make it symmetrical, that would interfere with our platform. But if I put it over here, line it up that way at a distance that is okay I think that's good doesn't clip just barely and then if we wanted to, we could have some stuff come in from outside the building. So if this was going to make fluctuators, high-speed connectors, computers, we could bring some stuff in from outside and make them here as well. So that's good. I'm going to leave that white for now. Yeah, the manufacturers are really big. They're really, really big. But it's a good tip if you line up the output with a line. Then on this side, your ports are going to line up with your walls. Right? So you can have it be nice and clean and tidy. It's fun to do um, uh, like overlapping with these machines because sometimes it's cool to hide some parts of them. What I like to do is I like to um, embed them. So like you're walking along at this level. So all of your stuff is going in underneath you and then you have like a walkway and the walkway would be like at this level or maybe even a little bit higher probably a little bit higher and somewhere these things are supposed to attach it doesn't, doesn't look like it okay so that's cool and then here we can back this up um, I'll wait for it to finish but we can back this up and put a couple of these up here so we have now that's manual this is manual the heavy modular frames are being made so we do crystal oscillators as well and those are a little bit more complicated But I could fit another manufacturer up there. I'd almost want to flip it, but I'd be worried that it would clip through. Yeah, so it sticks out the top. So I could flip it this way. And then it doesn't clip. So we could have another one there if I wanted to and have that be manually fed by some bins in between. Um, although in this case, what I would probably do is try to squeeze it as far into the side as we could. Right? Probably get it as far as there. And then that way we'd have lots of room for the bins. I would just maybe want a little bit more room. Well, it's probably fine. Yeah. So we can have that there as a placeholder. And then that leaves some rooms. Now these ones we couldn't do. That's dumb. Like that absolutely fits there. But I won't let you do it.
discovered last time the way to do this is to have a bin like this with that way. So that's one way to lay it out for manual stuff. And then this would leave us this space out here to have some like a manufacture. Like, yeah, I think an assembler here would be good. And we do the same thing with the bins. That's pretty good. You know, for like a manual setup, not bad. Not bad, not bad. Uh, what are we doing here? We're doing probably crystal oscillators. How many of those do I have right now? 103. I don't really need to push those right now. I'd say it's the circuit boards. That's the bigger issue. So we'll get rid of this. I'm probably going to be yeah, silica this over here and we'll just do the same thing with an assembler and that will be another manual thing for now not quite the same I wish they would make them line up a little bit better. And so the same thing if we did circuit boards here. We only have really room for one of those. I guess we could fit another one over here. circuit boards. Now to power all this nonsense this is going to be something else entirely. Uh, I guess that's over this side. Of course it is. So unfortunately, we're going to be dealing with the poles. So all we need to do here is just uh, plastic and Cosmic Dancer, thanks for being awesome. Really appreciate it. So that'll do that thing. And then we just need a bin for them to go in. And because these things are not really being made in a great quantity, we can probably just have a bin here. just connect this all the way up to that
That should have... I didn't have that in the right mode. Of course I put that in the wrong spot. we doing for power not bad okay so then as this makes its thing we can actually just put a merger on this that'll merge with crystal oscillators and i guess i could just sort of like zigzag this it's not the best but i could oh uh, i can't um, we'll do another merger on this then. That still may not work. No. Okay. Um, just too close. Weird that it was fine with this. Won't go to there. That snaked in a weird way. Oh, that's odd. Yeah, this the output on the on the um whatchamacallit. Manufacturers really needs a lot of room. It's odd. We'd be better off doing this, I guess. Can I fit two side by side? Probably not. Time to get creative. Um, mm -mm 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 -mm. Be <laughs> always clipping through something. <laughs> always clipping through something. I guess I should have thought a little bit more about the placement of this guy. I could have moved this a little bit more this direction. Probably would have solved the problem. Yeah. Well. Like, that should really work. It's going to be very silly, but it'll work. Is 
So those will come out and merge around. And now I just need to remove this and just straight belt that and straight belt that. Dumb, but we've got a backup, I guess. Sure. And this needs quartz, crystal, cable, and reinforced plates. Uh, quartz, crystal, cable, and reinforced plates. break the bank power wise good stuff once again the night has fallen uh but we have i think a lot of our tier stuff um like phase three parts that we interesting are able to... it is dark yet you still have not taken your break <laughs> that was so good <laughs> i was just talking about it Cosmic Dancer, thanks very much for the 200 bits. I really appreciate it. Uh, that's a funny sticker. I really like the voice on that. Memories, right? Uh, yes, I'm about to take the break. I'm about to take the break. Stream delay. We crossed paths. Yes. Don't cross the streams. Jeez. This is close to Halloween. Ghostbusters. Gotta pay attention. Uh, once again, folks, I take a break about once an hour. It gives me a chance to refresh the coffee. You should too. Grab a snack, grab a friend, let them know that we're streaming, and I will be right back.
Okay. So now we have a flexible technical setup. We can move that middle uh, manufacturer to do whatever we want. Uh, and we have another manufacturer that we could actually line up with something else. Uh, what was I going to make in this? This could really be anything. Probably computers. Circuit boards and plastic. Gas filters. We could start to work on modular engines too. That could be a... Actually, that's not a bad idea. That's maybe what we should be working on this middle one with. Because I don't really need crystal oscillators right now. What I need is to be working on the modular engines. That's what we should maybe be doing. The crappy part about this, of course, is that we have to remove the belts if we redo that. Um, yeah, because I can absolutely load one of these up with smart plates. Uh, let's do the modular engines. I'll use this bin as the smart plate bin. Spends a, an hour making paths. Decides to not use paths. There, I'll use the path. And let's put both of these, I guess. Fill that up, take that away. Well, will just be the one. I can actually flip this around. And then it needs rubber and motors. How many do we need to make? We need to make 500 at one per minute. So I need 500 times 15 for rubber and a thousand motors. Seventy-five hundred rubber and a thousand motors. A thousand motors is not a lot. Well, he says that. I forgot they stacked to fifty. It just feels faster sometimes when you jump. Jeez. Five. I think I'm going to get rid of this lip. I'm not a big fan. Now that should start on our modular engines. And what we could also do is go get my stuff and crank up the production on that because that's manual, so that doesn't have to be slow. We can do some uh, overclocking. Two point five per minute. Two hundred. Two hundred divided by sixty is three hours. So sometime in the next stream or two. Not today. I guess I could also do that. Although we're doing pretty good for circuit boards, I'm not too worried about that. I don't even know what those things look like. I feel like I've seen them, but it's just been a while.
pool. Slowly but surely, filling up the bin. Excellent. Okay, well that was a good decision. I don't know why I have all these pipes on me. So the only thing we did not replace over here was the quartz, uh, quartz instructor. I guess we could sneak that in the side here. Probably had it go back out that way. That's a little trickier. Not quite a lot of room for that. We might have to put that somewhere else. Mm -mm 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 -mm. These things just take up so much room. Well, we get five. <laughs> Yay, I guess. All right, let's get rid of this thing because this is driving me nuts. I think what I want to do is um, just come this way. this will look better. Fortunately, it's going to change this a little bit. Well, do I want to change the top? Yeah, that looks dumb. We're still going to do the same pattern. It's just going to be a little bit lower. Cleaner here. Definitely cleaner there. It's not a far enough drop, I don't think, that I have to worry about it. Yeah, I like that. Save myself the repaint later.
four, five. Excellent. Much preferred. Uh, and so this part also get destroyed. Should be all correct. Oh no. Is that not right? No, that's not right. How did that happen? There we go. Welcome back, Loki. Good to see you. Is this already there? No. That's much better. So decoration-wise, the only thing left to do in here is probably this um, the front of the storage system. But I need to get more Mercer spheres to get the final bits in there, so that's going to be something that we have to do later. Um, I think I need to figure out how we're going to label this, because this is just ugly. Maybe we can... on the side maybe and I think it's probably better to move these That's still manual. Cool, we're in pretty good shape. I mean, it's a it's really strange how much time it takes. I guess we did a lot of belt work. We did a lot of design work on the start. 
So I started a new satisfactory playthrough from, well, we were missing out. Any tips for absolute beginners? Uh, I got to tier two before I needed to f food and water. <laughs> mm. I would say in their early game, don't be afraid to handcraft stuff. I would look ahead at the tiers and decide what's going to help you automate the most. That's probably the most helpful, I would say. All right, I think we have to tackle the back of this now and figure out where that train station is going to be. I think that's my biggest problem right now is that this does not have a back. Um, you can also go back and watch, if you haven't already, the VOD for this playthrough. I started off with a tutorial. So you can go through and like fast forward through the VOD on Joel Duggan VODs. I want to create a custom sticker with some of the bits from um, um, Ada. But the problem is I, I don't have a good audio editor on my PC. I hate Audacity. It's an ugly, ugly program. I don't like using it. Okay, so how are we going to handle this? Uh, it would probably be good to have some windows back here. I feel like the way that we handle this should be similar. I don't think I want to duck in anywhere. Does that show up in here? No, that's down below. So we could totally come in there. There's nothing happening in this space. So we could continue that through. I wanted to just grab one of those. That would be possible. Although we'd have to bump it out. Where's the top of that? One below. If we wanted to have that shape continue, we could, because it will not interfere in here. And that gives us something to play with on this side that's not just a box, which is good. Gives us this stable point there. And then this is a single ramp. Single meter ramp, I should say. Now, what level is that on? We can just take this one. Find out. That's outside, right? Yeah. But I've got to bump it out, so horizontally it is going to be in this space. Still ends up on the same vertical. Come on.
And then I guess it's just the same sort of vibe here. We've got one, two, three. Should be the same. Silly belt, stop it. idea if this is how this pattern is going to look at the end, but that's how we'll do it for now. And we may... Yeah, we may leave this the way that it is for now. I'll fill this in. And then we're going to do something about the coal. This feels crooked. I know it's not, but it feels crooked because of the bends at the end. I did not space these out very well. I need to redo that. Um, but I like that shape. I need to move this tower out somewhere a little bit more out of the way. I feel like the base of this um, could just, we could end up with some sort of embellishment here. But that gives us a very specific shape on the back on that side. And I feel like that's probably a good spot where there would probably be some windows. I don't think we're going to do, I don't want this to have a glass roof. These could easily be windows. Uh, if they would look, may not look good. It doesn't have anything beefy to stand up against. I might have to go an extra foundation out here. I don't really want to, but we'll see. We could have this overhang. That's the other thing too. This could push. This could stick out. Like we could go, we could go another two out this way. Right if we needed to. Not that, I don't know what I would put up here. Like, I just, there's no reason. Because there's, there's really not much up here. Just for clarification here, there is fuel items coming from nodes in the world all the way to your factory on a conveyor belt. Um, fuel? Big head face, thanks for the lurk. Hex, hey, how's it going? Sorry, I don't have time on my chat. I have I probably missed that a while ago. Can I do that? Can I show the times? Um, slow mode. Chat appearance. Timestamp. Yes, okay. That doesn't add too much to it. Um, yeah, geez, that was almost five, six minutes ago. Sorry about that, Hex. Uh, welcome in. Good to see you. Uh, just for clear correction, there's fuel items coming from nodes in the world all the way to your factory on a conveyor belt. Um, actually, to be really clear on that, there is only coal, concrete, and iron coming into this factory. Coal is the farthest away. Concrete is obviously right there. And iron are these three iron nodes in the back. 
and they are being smelted. So iron is coming from this factory, and the only thing that this factory is doing is turning that iron into 900 ingots. So it's 900 iron coming in. It's being smelted in here. There's all the workings. And then it's being sent along this belt this way. And then everything else, because of my recipes, is all um, iron. Uh, the copper is way over there. And that is just sticking stuff in a bin. Just a temporary setup. Um, because we're not doing copper sheets, we're using iron wire. So these guys here are using iron to make wire. Just because I had so much iron. Um, and in case you didn't know, these nodes never run out. They're just straight up. It's about balancing flow as opposed to managing resources, really. Or at least managing resources amounts. So obviously I don't like this coal line. Uh, I'm thinking it would be neat to bring the coal in over here and just reverse the coal line going down. Because we've got more coal coming in than we know what to do with. And the node for the coal is like a... You can see it, right? See the top of it? Straight over there. You can just see the top of the miner in the distance. That little that little red um, part sticking up. So we could bring it right in here. And just send it that way instead of this way. And that would be a lot cleaner. But I like that shape. I like that cutout. I don't know why we would need the glass. But it does provide a little bit of light in this area here. This is all just temporary. Could be wall depth. I guess technically we'd want to have like. Floor holes here. Just for the looks. So then we've got a full meter or a foundation for depth. That's good. That means that this could be flat. This is probably going to be a two meter foundation. Do we have enough room that we could arc that? We probably could. Loki, uh, take your time and enjoy it. Uh, I think if you rush the game, you might miss some stuff. It's not a game to be rushed. It's a game to like really kind of take your time. I, it's a time sink. Like you'll lose hours. I mean, where are we now? I should save the game. We're just about at a hundred hours now. Now, granted, I do this for a job, so.
37. We are doing uh, heavy modular frames. We'll do auto. That means that we've got this for space and this for depth. So we could have some decent looking pillars here. And our middle point is here. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So 15. And if this was a big stinking pillar, pretty thick, then we'd have one, two, three, and then we'd have another too thick one there. Hmm. One, two, three. I feel like this is going to be solid. One, two, three, four. Pillar there, pillar there, pillar there. Yeah, so maybe I'll do a pillar here. Maybe the back could look something like that. And then we'd have another one here. I don't think they're going to be white. This is kind of the color I'm working with right now. This could look like a kind of a, something stuck onto the outside. That. Broad strokes, I guess. These would probably be better off as windows. And did I start off at this level as windows? I want to keep with whatever this is. 
So at least two meters above the ground before we start the window. I might keep these as the simple windows. there? Probably not. I don't think I want a back door. I think we'll just leave the two side doors. And then we could do probably that hexagon window pattern up here if we can get it to work. as far as we get. Somewhere uh, there'll have to be a door. I think it was four. You have to look right. Something I really like about this game is the reach that you have in your building. Yeah, and then we need one more. to go lower on that. That does look a little bit weird. It's cool from in here, though. I'd like to try to do some fun angle here. 45 or something. That could be kind of cool. Uh, 
Uh, the penguin dude says they can really suck you in. I'm at 140 hours and have only minimal factories because I love exploring and got stuck in rebuilding my first factory. Yeah, there's a lot of rebuilding on your first playthrough too. I like the windows too, Cosmic. I didn't bother with the other windows in the in the awesome sink. Oh, that reminds me. How are we doing for tickets? Uh, another two. Slow and steady, I guess. Two tickets. Uh, nothing there. I don't think we can purchase anything for two. We might have to wait. We could look at some patterns. Factory zone. Well, we're almost at three for metal roof. Maybe we'll wait for the metal roof. Yeah, we'll wait for the third one. The metal roof. But I'm pretty sure like this is roughly what I want the back of this to look like. And... I think... The other thing now is just to figure out what we're going to do. Or... I don't think I want this to connect to the train station. It might be cool if it did. Like have a bridge over here. But I feel like a train station... First I guess I'd have to figure out where in this biome I'd want to put the train station. And so for that, I'm probably going to want to move this. I find that there's a, a, a back and forth between planning and, and executing. Like, you get to a... You're like, oh, I have an idea. And you're like, crap, I have to like do six things before I can actually sort out that idea. So like here's where I think the cold could come in, but it's obviously off to the side here. And that's not a big deal. But that would be kind of like where I would maybe want the train station to come in. And then as far as distance this way, I don't think I want that to come out any farther. Trains are five foundations wide. Train stations, not trains. And I would say this is a good spot here. So we've got one. Let's go from here. I think I want to have that space clear. So I definitely want to have at least a little bit of space. That's one, two, three, four, five. This is where it's really hard to get far enough away to look at these big things. I feel like that's a decent position. We might want to go a little bit farther to the right. This is throwing me off. We don't need this anymore. Oh, there's a lot of coal in there. There wasn't there.
Just got Blade Runners. They are fantastic. I agree, Bali. They're awesome. I missed the first three hours. Darn work. Have we uh, mentioned pink yet? Uh, there was a lot of pink mentioned. We were talking about my new color palette that I... all the transformer colors and I had to add a pink as per request. <laughs> I mean, RC is pink. I get it. It's fine. Oh, wow. You know what? I don't really care. I never thought about using blueprints to create your own custom cool looking power poles. That'd be nice to do too. I think people just decide to use the default ones because it's just a lot easier. It is almost night time, but you can still play because you mentioned pink. <laughs> I am altering the deal. Pray. Well played. I do not alter it further. Thank you for the 200 bits, Cosmic, and the text-to-speech sticker. Which I should mention more often that we have stickers on the stream now. Um, I Yes, I will be taking at least one more break. Uh, and then streaming for another hour. Because uh, I just I want to get to a point where I'm happy with the plan here. And I feel like I'm just kind of starting... I, I, I do find that after four hours, sometimes you've just started. Um, I need to have, I might have to start making a backup and review point because it's getting harder to see where I can be. That feels about equal distance, you know? Because this is going to stick out, but I might want to move it one more the right for context uh, I'm gonna build one of these train stations gonna show me no and maybe do it on the ground so there's how big it is right so I was right it's roughly five foundations in a bit but I'm gonna put it in the air on stilts so that the trains can come and go and this will probably just be a, a regular stop, not so much a um, an actual station. I don't see us loading and unloading too much in here. Maybe some plastic. Might be a temporary one-way station. It's just nice to have a station close to your hub so that when you want to go... Um, and actually, the station wouldn't be where the tracks would be. This, the station would have to pull off the tracks, so the tracks would probably be more like in this position or go in between. So I should consider that too. Yeah, this might be better off bumped just a little bit more to the right. And then we could connect it if we wanted to. It might be better to keep it at height and just go straight with it and then have the train go up, I guess. This height, though, for um, the platform there, I don't see that as being... It's high enough that way, but I don't see it being high enough for trains going in this direction. I feel like we're going to run into some trees. I mean, we might go around the corner.
it's also not going to be right height. Well, I might be able to make that work. I would like the train grid to be on a good vertical 40, um, 4 meter block, though. Which starts there. And what we're standing on. Not that they can't go up and down. Yeah, I was thinking the train tracks going right down that way would be very cool. Because we could pick up Caterium or drop stuff off to Caterium. Because there's iron and copper there, so we could do like a copper... Um, like a computer factory. Alright. Night time. Time for a break. Cosmic, I really appreciate that you're having fun with the stickers. They're a fun addition. I like them too. I think I should try to make a conscious effort to walk through this place now more than jump around. Once again, time for a short break. Uh, the coffee is no longer going to get refilled. If I drink any more coffee, I'm going to vibrate. Uh, but I need a short break. You should too. I'll be back in five or seven minutes.
back again. One last run. Let's see what we can get done. I think that that is not supposed to be there. <laughs> uh, it's really hard to kind of slowly poke at designs this large. I guess I'll just repeat this pattern and see if we can at least feel better about that. Have it feel a little bit more complete. Uh, skip one. So ideally it would be better to bring the, co the coal in between them rather than the middle of them. I may change that too. Thank you, Cosmic. Appreciate it. To fix your broken drink. Hey, what are you drinking? That's done there. Do the windows quickly. There's just a lot of wasted space back here, but I don't know. I think I'd rather have it and and know I have it if I need it rather than need it later and not have it. So that part needs to change. I had it different over here, didn't I? I did it very differently here. I think I like the other side better. Yeah. Uh, we are one, two below the window. Oh, it does. That was the previous anticipated corner of the building. How did I do this thing over here? Is this... Oh, we did... Right. Skylights. This thing feels out of place now, too. I think I'm going to take a crack at a different kind of door on this side and see if I can make something look better. See, these feel like they need some more oomph to them. I wonder if we could do 
something. Like a half foundation, maybe? I really dislike hitting the wrong button. It's not bad. That might not look good on those ones. Sometimes it's faster to um, use the zoop and then delete the ones that you don't want to repeat a pattern. If you really were doing something complicated, I would say make a blueprint if it's something that you knew you're going to use a lot. But this, I think, is just like a experiment. I actually don't mind that it's open down here. We might uh, want to use these walls that we've been doing before. Again, it gives me like access, kind of like a back door. These frame walls, these have been good. This kind of stuff, do I want them? I probably want them attached to these. Careful not to delete anything I don't want to delete here. Again, sometimes they give you these things and you just wish that they came in like one more size, you know? That was pretty good for depth, maybe. It gives us access, which is nice. Yeah, I'm all right with that. I'm trying to like get away a little bit from the transformers just to have some functionality and not drive myself crazy. I really did enjoy the Megatron build on the Devastator playthrough, but it's huge. In order to make things look really Cybertronian and have it look good, like you really have to make things super big. we put together. Uh, three by four. Wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three, four, five. Three by five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, that was it. It's weird how quiet it is when you're far away. You can't hear the construction noise. So again, I don't have a better solution for this. So we'll just leave it the way that it is. And this is a cool idea, but I'm gonna do it better. I would like to have a better angle here, but at least it's kind of feature complete. Like it has a back, not like an empty, empty thought. And this is definitely moving at least a half a foundation out this way. I can't see myself needing that side of it. Nerdify, subscribing at tier one. 27 months were Nerdify. That's amazing. Thank you so much. Very, very kind of you. Coming up on the big 3-0. Wow. Uh, oh, Cosmic, you're talking about the bot? Yeah, no, it, like literally the second you stood up, a bot came in and said like, Joel, would you like to buy some viewers? No bot, I would not. Third ticket. I don't remember what we said we were going to get, though. It wasn't the barriers. Was it the walls? No. Foundations? Nope. Customizer. The metal ruse, wasn't it? I think it was the metal ruse. Management. Yep, we'll go with the metal roofs. Oh, they are in foundation? No, customizer. Fix it is not responsible for personal damage, environmental damage, psychological damage, or lowered standards that may result from use of these products. Enjoy your purchase. So I have to figure out how we're going to shape this because this doesn't really have a lot of depth. So we may have to do something there. Normally I prefer to hide this a little bit. So I may come up with a different idea for it. For now though, that's pretty good. It could be maybe a little bit of... Could maybe make this a little bit lighter.
Yeah, sure. These are just the finicky little details that are two, three, four, five, six, I think. Just to make it look like I didn't forget anything. Now this needs to get changed. How did I handle that on the other side? I think it just goes straight down, right? Yeah, straight down. That is not going to stay like that, I don't think. Bug fixing mode before release. Uh, Word Nerdify, did I, did you work, did, you, did I know that you worked in software? I don't think I knew that. That's cool. Why am I under the ground? Decided that ramps were better, and so was asphalt. So the door is probably going to be this deep. Oh, there's our new half pipes. Stuff. Ramp. This was supposed to go straight down. Uh, this stuff was supposed to, supposed to come back out, right? I think there's three. One, two, three, four. I thought there was three. Oh no, that's a, this ramp. One, two, three, and then a one meter ramp, right? this empty inside because I just I want to make sure I know where the ramp is. We have this weird little area, but we could probably use this to move materials if we needed to. Don't know why that's there. And then we 
me just fill these in. Don't know why I did it that way. Would be nice to continue that green stripe around here too. straight down I think I remember zero thanks so much for hanging out appreciate the lurk and uh, I appreciate the feedback on the fact that you got devastated to crash on your system so take care have a good night yeah this is just flat I just didn't do too much with it this that could be a, a, a place to bring stuff in so I'll leave it open to other options Ah, but we have this issue. This is how power gets to Caterium and how power gets to our fuel. <laughs> I think I'm just going to move this guy a little bit off. A little bit farther away from the building, maybe. It does look very strange. You almost want to have like a mega structure with four of them, you know? Yeah, let's get them let's get them at least over here somewhere. Interesting, you can rotate them. They snap on the foundations. Huh. That's annoying. I guess they're meant to go on just the grass. Ugh. Delete that one and connect. Man, you can reach far with these things. It's awesome. And then this one, same thing. Wow. And then now all I need to do this is we are pulling through the building here, which is not my favorite thing to do. best
do not disconnect. Yeah, not quite sure how to finish that off. I guess we could... Yeah, whatever. So the door will be the deciding factor here and so how we design this. But that's pretty good. Like, we have a back on it now. Sort of, I missed a spot. So at least it's not an empty space. I don't like leaving the streams when it's like feeling really incomplete. Uh, you don't use the platform version? Uh, no, not usually. Um, the only difference is just the platform on it. I don't use it to get around, or I haven't yet. Uh, but that's the thing, like you can, I'm pretty sure if I chose the platform version, if you hold control, even if you just hover over it, you can just replace it. So it's very easy to just put one in its place. So you can switch them up quite easily. If I decide to use it that way. I find that once I got trains, I, I'm not... I don't use them that much. I like to use the platform version to have an easier time to get onto wires. Oh, totally, yeah. Yeah, we use that over there. Uh, there's this one over here. That one's a platform. Uh, because it goes out to that one and we were going a lot of back and forth a lot but it was once we got blade runners it was a lot faster All right so there's obviously a lot of detail work left to do uh, but i think that's pretty good i'm really happy we got this hooked up we've got this automated how are we doing for modular engines well, we're a tenth of the way there. Are we running out of stuff? Motors. Uh-oh. Rubber. That would make sense. I miscalculated. It's got to be a lot more than 1,100 rubber. Probably 10,000 rubber. Yeah, 15 times 500. Seventy five hundred rubber. Yeah, okay. Yeah, feeling a lot happier. This, these are a little bit of a basic shape. I'd like to do something more with those windows. Maybe we can have some design in the back there. Needs a little bit of red. So maybe we can end up having this stuff be red across the top, maybe. Oh, that's the outside, too. I've got to be careful with that. Yeah, I'll work that out later. Everything is stalled. That's not good. Not enough pipes. Ooh, did I cut off the coal? I must have cut off the coal. I did. 
something happen out this way. What did I delete? Oh, power. I cut the power. Eventually the coal's gonna come over this way, I think. Oh, that's a weird bug. I've seen that a couple times with a highlighted power uh, cord. Trying to figure out what like version of the concrete looks the most like Cybertronian metal, and I think it's the unpainted. as the default. Right. Uh, technically the coal's coming in there, but I don't like it. This is what it is. It's not very cool looking. So I guess the next thing to look at is probably that train station for planning. Because we have, we're working on our phase three space elevator parts. We have got a few things up here for quartz and other things. We've moved the hub. Yeah, I think, I think I can focus on this. I know the design's not done, but I feel like I need to know what's going to be potentially coming in here and from where. And in order to know that, I need to have this train station sorted out. So, if we do a quick train platform in the blueprint designer... Does that go through? No, he's nowhere near it. Uh, I need to know what a good height is for trains around here. I guess we can start here. And let's go with the unpainted one. I don't mind being close to the trees. I just want to be above them. one higher. That's a lot higher than I thought it was going to be. Definitely clears a lot of stuff though. If that platform is that high, Hmm. 
eight. This is not eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's close. We are definitely going to have to get into hypertubes if I'm going to have to start traveling up this high all the time. I can't just, I can't remember, did I decide I wanted to move this east or west? I don't think I'd want to be any closer to that. And I can imagine that having like a little, little barrier around it. Wow. Menu fatigue. You know, some sort of cool design around it. So, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I don't feel like I'm in the middle of this space. I feel like I'm definitely closer to that. Three foundations away from that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Get rid of all those. This should be maybe where the train station is. So all I did there was just kind of quickly find the middle of what I think the space is. And that kind of lines up with the arch a little bit. I might, I could nudge it maybe one foundation to the left. That's kind of cool. I do find that trying to consider like future plans like that really good. I mean, the arch is more like, well, yeah, let's just do that. Man, biofuel, liquid biofuel is gold for early game jetpack. My goodness. Uh, and then I guess we would just line up with the building, right? Like, that would make sense. I can make this look pretty later. Do I care about two meters? Probably not. Two, three, four, I'm so glad that during development they added zooping to the game. Huge change. Uh, transport, first train station going down as a test. Gonna face that way. In the 
middle of this foundation. I tend to line up my tracks in the middle of foundations. It seems to be something that works the best. So if you do two tracks, two foundations, you can do slimmer, but it just gets kind of tricky. Nudging exceeded. Um, oh, that's not the middle. That's right. I didn't put the pole in the middle. That's the middle. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. nice thing is that train stations will carry your power which is cool so as a biome how is this feeling yeah I think it's starting to feel like a bit of a city busy I like having the train up there that's good I feel like the train is gonna be coming in that way we'll have to figure out more but I think we've got enough room here if we need to turn around. we got lots of room out this way, too. And so, for now, I think we'll just put some empty platforms. And I guess maybe I could put another... This might be a two-way station for now. I didn't realize it stuck out like that in the model. It's weird. So it's not quite in the middle uh, because of the way that the length of this works. But the idea here is that we could have a train that could go out to the rubber and plastic and come back from the rubber and plastic and fill up some bins for us. That'll be good. And now that I know this is happening, we'll have to figure out a good... There's going to be some blueprints, I think, happening in between streams where I'm going to make some curves and some uh, towers. I may actually copy and paste the train towers that I developed from uh, my... A Devastator playthrough. It feels higher. Is it higher? It's just an optical illusion. It is higher. How is it higher? I mean, higher is good than better than lower. I guess this was lower ground. No, I pulled it from that grid. How did I not? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That does not make sense. That's a four meter. I'll have to double check that before I build any trains. The moon man might be able to ride the, ride the train. Yeah, maybe. Obviously, I need to move that. That looks terrible, but we'll figure that out. I'd imagine this is going to be a much larger structure. There's probably going to be like a big fork that comes down and does some cool stuff there. and We'll work that out. What's nice about this is that if I can do this right, we might be able to actually use the train tracks to run resources as well. So it'll be similar to this, but instead of uh, two of these belts, 
it will be big enough to run two train tracks. And the one that I have built previously has one of these big billboard signs and it's flat. So if I do a beam quickly here, and I put down a billboard sign. So I can't build it right now, but this is just a little bit bigger or exactly the same size as two foundations. And so it looks like kind of like an Energon anti-gravity pad. And then I have a, a train track running down this side and a train track running down this side. And it looks really cool. Uh, but that's why we need the crystal oscillators. Oh, sheets. I want to cover sheets. Everything in here is going again. Yeah, this gets stuck. I guess it's too slow. No, it's not getting enough steel. That's weird. Did these guys not hold their weight. I guess the manifold emptied. And it's just kind of slowly getting back up to snow. Yeah. Yeah. And that, of course, trickles down the line because everything is connected in here. Cool. So yes, I don't know why that didn't line up. I have to check that. No height difference here. So I obviously messed up somewhere. Where has the light gone? But more importantly, where has the rum gone? <laughs> That's it's it's not so much the that it sounds like Jack Sparrow cosmic. I'm just impressed that it emphasizes rum. Right, like in what you typed in, there's nothing to indicate that rum would be emphasized and that did that. Thanks very much for the 200 bits. That's very, very clever. And, and yeah, I need, to, I need to wrap things up. Uh, but I'm pretty happy with the changes that we've made, with the um, progress that we've made on these temporary things. I think we're in really good shape now. Uh, there's nothing outside of quartz stuff that's not being made in the background. Uh, I just have a bunch of different things here to do inside, but I'm happy that we have um, a back on the building because at least feels factory-like. Um, it's lacking depth on this side, so I need to work on that. And obviously we need to tighten up these belts and make it look a lot cooler. Um, but so far, so good. The next thing is to try to figure out what to do with this. I'd like to try to encase this rock a little bit better but we have what's beginning to look like a decent thematic build going on here i'm really happy with this part at the front this here i'm glad that worked out so now it feels a little bit more like a functional factory very cool Anyway, uh, that's where I'm going to leave you guys. I'm going to pass you on to somebody else playing Satisfactory. Uh, let me just see who else is live. And we'll see what's up. Uh, wrong window. Refresh. If anybody has any recommendations, feel free to toss them in chat. Uh, Whoa, Jess is live. We've also got... That's the only uh, hypnozoid or hypno cub fan. Whoa, Jess. Cub fan or whoa, Jess. Uh, let's go. Whoa, Jess. We did hypno the other day. Um, and I think whoa, Jess is a lovely human. 
So we'll raid Woe Jess. Uh, I'll be back again tomorrow, uh, Friday, 1 o'clock Atlantic. UTC minus four hours, I think, or is it three? Either way, Atlantic time. Look it up. And uh, I will be streaming Satisfactory again, hopefully making a little bit more progress. Uh, I do plan on doing uh, a stream on Saturday. It is a holiday weekend here in the Canadian areas, uh, Thanksgiving weekend. So uh, there will be no streaming on Sunday, although that's normally my day off anyway. I may have some stuff happening on Saturday, so I'll let you know. Uh, thanks very much for the support today. I really appreciate all the stickers. They're a lot of fun. I'm glad people are enjoying them. Uh, thank you for the bits. Thank you for the subs, the resubs. Some people coming up on three years uh, subbing, which is just bananas for me. Uh, again, I really appreciate it. Cosmic, thank you for stepping in and doing some modding. I know that uh, Sweet Sandy uh, has also been modding for me this week and has a new puppy and is very busy and so had to take care of that. So I really appreciate all of the help. Uh, Y'all are awesome. I will see you tomorrow. Have a good one. Bye for now.